like to welcome up the uh, and uh, the vice chairman of the Youth Commission, Brendan Clark. And I have to uh, first off apologize that I did not get your title uh, listed on the agenda. I did not understand that you were the vice chairman. No and I also want to thank you very much for your, your uh, kind letter to me, uh, thanking me for putting you on the agenda. So <laughs> uh, welcome, Brendan. So uh, good evening, Madam President, Councillors. Uh, thank you for giving me the opportunity to brief you on the upcoming 7th grade Youth Summit, which is the uh, fruition of many months' work by my fellow commissioners and the many dedicated individuals who work with the Youth Commission on a daily basis in order to ensure that their agenda becomes a reality. I would like to begin this evening, evening's report detailing the upcoming 7th grade Youth Summit by introducing a quote by Bob Riley. Uh, Drugs are the enemies of ambition and hope, and when we fight against drugs, we are fighting for the future. Uh, the former governor of Alabama, Mr. Riley, uh, the Youth Commission believes that all students deserve an equal opportunity to achieve success, and also realize that drugs can be inimical to such a success. Uh, drug use is a new epidemic with countless reports issued in the past by the United States Department of Health and Human Services, which emphasize that the variety of drugs currently used by youth between the ages of 12 and 18, and that report here. Uh, I could not find locally regional reports, but I thought that this gave a very uh, interesting statistic of about 2. Point million uh, individuals between the ages of 13 and 18, and the different types of drugs that are just being used at the present by these youth. Uh, pretty shocking information. The full report can be found at the link included there, and it's also in a uh, report which all of you have been given. Um, the problem is undoubtedly prevalent here on Cape Cod and in the town of Barnstable and affects many youth on a daily basis in a negative fashion. fashion. As such, the Youth Commission has made the necessary appropriations and organized a seventh grade youth summit aimed at targeting the most at-risk population of the youth before they have an encounter with illicit substances. So uh, the event will be on Thursday, the 19th of March, and Friday, the 20th of March, from 5.30 to 8 on uh, the 19th and 9 to 2 on the 20th at the Hyannis Youth and Community, Community Center. Uh, on Thursday, all the parents and any member of the community and general public is welcome to attend. And then on Friday, the 7th grade students of Barnesville Intermediate School, uh, all 400 of them, will be attending the summit. So the 7th grade youth summit's uh, primary goal is to provide the 7th grade students of Barnstable Intermediate School with a reasonable plan of operations for how to respond to a drug-related discourse in the event that they are confronted with one, and to make them aware of the individual services and community leaders upon whom they can rely in the case that they fall prey to the dangers of, addi of addiction. So. Uh, how this all came about was um, after several events in late October of 2015, we chose to address this growing crisis after some reports had been presented here at the town council and some general discussion throughout the community. And uh, we decided to make it our top priority agenda item for the fiscal year of 2015. After we surveyed the resources and amenities that were available to serve those affected, we realized that there was a really a lack of focus in the prevention of addiction and that really all of the focus went to treatment and went to treating those affected. But really when you get down to it, um, preventing it is a much better solution. So uh, we found through research and studies, the primary age group that would most benefit would be those who are about to enter a high school climate, a climate where tensions are um, high and people are just um, moving into that more adult culture. So we decided to address the seventh grade just as they're about to begin the transition to uh, Barnstable High School. So there will be uh, several speakers at the convention. Uh, Brenda Conlin is uh, Thursday's keynote speaker. She's a prevention specialist who is well known for her efforts in informing adults about the dangers of drugs with uh, comedic humor. She will be speaking to all of the parents and community members who attend. Uh, on Friday's keynote speaker is The Improbable Players, which is an acting troupe from Boston who uh, does role playing with the students to kind of get them interactive and really have an interesting experience with the students to educate them about uh, the dangers of drugs and how they can face them. Uh, the YMCA of Cape Cod will also be presenting on Friday where they'll have breakout sessions with students and uh, continue to educate them on dangers and drawbacks of illicit substances. They will also have a table on Thursday evening but they will not be presenting on Thursday evening. 
Uh, Understanding Diversity Classes, which is a course at Barnstable High School led by uh, Martha Swindler, will be giving short presentations and informing them of the culture and activities that take place at Barnstable High School. Also, a local regional documentary produced by Sam Tarplin, entitled What Happened Here, will also be airing uh, to all of the parents on Thursday night. Now, it is also important to note that we currently have two pending sponsorships who have offered to cover the entire cost of the event. Uh, the Commission will inform the Town Council once confirmation is received on those sponsorships. And uh, First Student Incorporated, uh, the bus service for Barnstable Public Schools, has offered uh, free bus tra transportation to and from the Community Center and Barnstable Intermediate School on Friday the 20th, which was a uh, huge help, and our thanks go to them. So uh, who's attending this summit? Many individuals here in the town and here in the local state region. Uh, the entire class of 2020, which is all 400 some students of the seventh grade at Barnstable Intermediate School, uh, hopefully parents of seventh graders, any citizen community member, members of civic associations and other town organizations. Uh, Jeffrey Perry will be a representative of the, of the Barnstable County Sheriff's Office. First Assistant District Attorney Michael Trudeau will be present. Former State Representative, 1st Barnstable District, Cleon Turner. State Representative, 1st Barnstable District, Timothy Whalen. State Representative, 2nd Barnstable District, Brian Minow. State Senator Dan Wolf, the Town Manager of Barnstable and the Superintendent of Barnstable Public Schools will all be present at some point throughout the course of the convention. So uh, who's here to help? We want to make everybody aware in the town, any youth, that uh, all youth commissioners are always available to help. Samuel Splain is the chairman, I myself am the vice chairman, and we have commissioners including Michael Hersey, Emma Mano, uh, Harry McDonald, and Liana Mitchell, all of whom are here ready to help and will be at the convention distributing uh, business cards and other contact information in case a student ever wants to have a discussion with uh, the commissioners, uh, the Barnstable Police Department, and Cape Cod Healthcare are, of course, some of the most valuable resources where you can go for uh, help and support. I will now field any questions or comments, uh, and thank you for letting me speak. Thank you for that presentation. Questions from councillors? Councillor Kennedy. When is it um, most beneficial to you and uh, probably most informative for us for us to attend is it the Thursday night I would say uh, that the Thursday night would be best interacting with the parents would probably have a greater effect okay and congratulations on this this is excellent and I'm very very proud thank you so. any other counselors Councilor Jim Crocker if there should be any um, trouble with sponsorship if you came back to our president we all have people in our community, I'm sure, who would like to support you as well. So let us know if uh, sponsorship is an issue. Right. Thank you. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Any other counselors? Councilor Cullum. So um, I couldn't be prouder, first of all. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome, and um, you're an excellent speaker, and thank you for coming tonight to do that. Um, so Brendan represents really dedicated kids that are really interested in helping their community. I encourage you all to please come to the event. Um, I, especially fellow counselors, you need to come to the event, and um, I think you'll be really impressed. These kids have put their heart and soul into it. I'm very impressed. They're pulling their full load at school, and they're pulling a full load with me, and I'm not easy to deal with. Um, we're, we're definitely up and running and excited about this. We're excited to show um, kids choices that exist for them at Barnstable High School that maybe they don't get on the parent-student tour. Um, and this Understanding Diversity group is very, very interesting. They're actually um, ACLU trained, um, and they're they're really great at peer mentoring, which we're really trying to get moving here. We would like kids to self-refer if they have problems um, and work within their like little culture to help us help them. So I couldn't be prouder, honestly, and I'm really excited for the event. It's gonna, and I hopefully it will be an annual event, and I can't wait to unveil the sponsorship. It's very exciting. I did want to mention briefly that um, Cheryl Bartlett will also be there to provide the closing comments on Thursday evening, and also on Friday she'll address both kind of tranches of, of students that are coming coming over. Um, and I think that's super important because she's really the sole voice of prevention that we have right now and she's really running headlong into it. Um, I think it's a, a really, really important event. So I really hope all the fellow counselors can come out and help me. I know it's on a night that we have a meeting. I don't care. <laughs> you need to come to the event. It's at 5.30. I'll see you here at quarter to seven. We'll sit down, do the Pledge of Allegiance and go through the meeting. How's that? 
Okay, thank you. Brendan, uh, I want to, I think your poise and your, your keen interest, your commitment uh, is exemplary. And I, I, I applaud you, and I think your parents should be very proud of you. Right. Thank you. Yeah. So. Thank you so much.